Hello beautiful Aquarius. I'm so glad that you are able to join me here today. I am Prairie Vintage. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. I use spirits, my intuition, and the tarot to communicate energies to you, the beautiful viewer. And we will be taking a look at the last week of May going into June, the energy that you're um, maintaining and then any energies that are connected to you and then overall energies blended with you and the energies around you, okay? So we'll ask Spirit for a clear and concise message here for Aquarius. Spirit, please give us a clear and concise message for Aquarius. Thank you so, so much. We're so grateful. And thank you so much, Aquarius, for allowing me to tap into your energy. Now, you could be sun, moon, or rising sign in Aquarius. So just cross-watching for your favorite Aquarius person. That is A-OK. -okay. You might need to swap sides so i'll be reading it like your energy energy is attached to you then blended you might have to crisscross the two sides so we're going to start off with your energy spirit clear and concise for aquarius energy what do we have so we have judgment in reverse we have the king of wands in reverse and then we have the ace of swords upright energies attached to you going into june we have the knights of pentacles we have the King of Pentacles in reverse, and we also have Justice in reverse. Blended energies for Aquarius. We have the Magician, and we have the Knight of Wands, and we also have the Moon. Interesting reading, Aquarius. So I kind of feel like the energy around you is almost in the same state that you're in because I feel like you have a mixture of Truths and a mixture of needing to embrace truths or at least have a conversation about truths, but maybe not finding the strength or the courage or the power within you to take this information and do something with it. With the judgment in reverse, the king uh, of wands in reverse, and then the ace of swords. I mean, the judgment in reverse and the ace of swords upright, those are contradicting to me because the sort of truth here is all about the truth walking talking living the truth um getting very clear getting very certain when the judgment is in reverse it's us needing to take a look at past situations and be honest with ourselves in order to have a moment of reckoning um here so i feel like there needs to be a conversation an adult conversation here with somebody here about your truth and maybe you're not finding it within yourself to step up and initiate such a conversation here. Um, now the energy attached to you, why I said you guys are kind of a little bit the same here is because we have the Knight of Pentacles upright, the King of Pentacles in reverse, and then Justice in reverse here. So, I mean, you have Judgment in reverse. This person has Justice in reverse. So... I feel like for you, um, on a bigger level, you're having to kind of face some sort of truth around the past, potentially this uh, energy connection to you, all the truths of the past to put together to face or communicate some sort of truth. Whereas I feel this energy here has been pretty um, slow going and consistent here, but more of having to do whatever it takes to bring some sort of... Um, justice to a situation here but the king of pentacles in reverse is not in a solid position or not wanting to be committed or not from a stable position to do so the fact that justice is in reverse and the king of pentacles it's like this person is not in a position to wants to bring balance or justice to a situation and potentially keep slowly moving onward with something that is a little more practical and consistent here. Um, I do feel like, I mean, these, you know, are giving me two opposite type energies because the Knight of Pentacles is pretty practical and consistent and the King of Pentacles is practical and pretty consistent, but one's upright and one's reversed and the King carries more power than the Knight. So I feel like this person probably, um, either had wanted to or um, 
was looking for some sense of justice and some sort of stability that they were unable to find here, some sort of commitment that would bring justice. And I feel like it never really happened. So ideally that would be their justice, but there is this movement away from this slowly but surely. Now mixed energies here, I see the magician, the knight of wands and the moon. So, I mean, the fact that we have two major arcanas here, um, it's kind of letting spirit take the wheel and the magician is all about our manifestations of what we are bringing into reality. But I feel like the moon is talking about us not being very clear or certain. So I feel like the message here for you guys, Aquarius, is the fact that, you know, um, there's a need for you to embrace some sort of truth here with judgment in reverse or come to a realization in order for you to be able to manifest something here. But the fact is that the moon's still here. So I think you're a little unclear and you're in this king of wands reverse although blended energies is this knight of wands upright which is giving me that whole knight of pentacles upright and king of pentacles in reverse because this kind of means exactly what your energy attached to you was saying was this one is full of passion going after um an opportunity a desire quick energy and the king of wands in reverse is you know, you not chasing up or having the confidence to move forward um, or maybe even the experience in, in something here. So there poses this uncertainty or this un, this going being unclear. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, um, you needing to manifest something here. You kind of have to go after with like this Knight of Wands, which I think will eventually help to develop your king of wands energy that is currently sitting in the up in the reverse position here um let's get a little bit of clarifiers here why is the moon here spirit why is the moon actually i'm gonna pull three cards for the last row here with the magician the knight of wands and the moon let me get three cards clarifier here we have the nine of wands the four of cups in reverse and the page of swords in reverse Okay, so I'm feeling this is your energy, again, crisscross, but I feel like you're in this nine of wands, so pretty protective here, um, and maybe you're guarded because it's been a long journey here. I feel like um, with the four of cups in reverse, you might be mm, leaning more towards coming out of that defensive state and maybe going after what it is that you want, but I feel like there is, with the page of swords in reverse, that you're probably in a still in a in a state of coming from a place i think that isn't necessarily going to be helpful to this situation because i don't feel like you're necessarily clear and i feel like your actions are a little underhanded here okay and like i said you can mix them with um or blend or crisscross them with the other person here but i feel like yeah like there's a desire to come out of this state but i mean the page of swords in reverse this is like the snoop card this is somebody who's a little underhanded who's a little combative who isn't very clear or not asking the right questions and i feel like that's kind of highlighting the whole feel we had here with the moon not being certain of something here so therefore the manifestations um that you're manifesting is a little bit more uncertainty maybe you're manifesting somebody being a little bit more in this page of swords in reverse like not really i don't know just, yeah i feel like that energy is kind of immature or somebody just focusing on the wrong stuff here Okay, let's get, I'm going to put these back, but let's get final words here for you, Aquarius. Final words for Aquarius spirit. Final words of guidance. What does Aquarius need to hear? We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands coming out again and the Ace of Cups. So spirit is, um, yeah, really emphasizing this need to walk away from a situation here that I think you're a little bit unclear about walking away. Um, you know, you probably have been defensive or not wanting to walk away here, but in order for you to 
um, go find what emotionally fulfills you. You need to walk away and take note that you're kind of in this guarded state um, because there is an emotional new beginning for you here with the Ace of Cups. So it does exist. I think there is a need to go within self to find what emotionally fulfills you to fill your own cup rather than kind of being on guard or taking a look at a situation here that I don't feel you're very clear about. Um, so it, you can't really manifest something here. Okay, so this is the energy I'm seeing for you guys, Aquarius, going into June. If this resonated, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you soon. Bye.